Hi, and welcome to a new tutorial in SOLIDWORKS. Let's do part 3 of the episode, uh, I think, 5-1. Uh, five, five yes, we have uh, all in the cylinder block. Okay, uh, let's continue our work. Um, we have... Uh, the last feature we did is this one, I think. Yes, and, um, and, and, and we have to do something here. I'd like, uh, what's the name of this? Rib, like a rib here, but um, to be designed uh, with new trip okay let's start from from what from here then go to sketch mm, start from the circle uh, we have a circle of a diameter of 135 then Uh, rectangle has 60 then the center line from here to here to center it and you can add relation here then go to trim trim all of these I don't want that then go to feature mm, feature of what we have 95 switch the direction I click OK the same thing in this side select this one circle with 135 and add circle here not the circle add line what's the problem add second line here then no no what's the problem of you you can use rectangle like I did that's a nice thing to do. Okay. Add the relation here. Make midpoint. Then you can click and drag to make a point here. We have 60 here. And you can mm, convert this one to construction geometry and trim all of this. Okay. Then go to feature. The same thing. Switch all of this. Then we have a motive here. Let's start with this one. Mm. Let's start with the rectangle like this. Okay. And add this dimension fifteen here, thirty here.
and click select all of this go to linear sketch pattern uh, I forgot something I have to add here 45 then select all of this go to uh, repetition uh, I don't know the name the name then here you can put uh, yes 20 and repeat it like this no like this one okay uh, don't click here and the same thing in other direction switch the direction like this and select all of these repetition with 135 switch the direction distance of 40 40 I think is good okay 40 is not good make here 38 okay then select all of this yes you can select this one and project it here then you can use trim and trim all of these don't touch the black one then this you can remove it like that with the remove in your keyboard we haven't to use it we won't use it and you can use trim to trim all of these okay now I think you can go to feature extrude then select this one and up to surface select this surface and click OK Uh, you can repeat that if you want but I will do the same thing in the other side before to repeat it I will copy this with Control C on your keyboard then go to this face sketch and click here paste it then add the point here and select all of these move entity move it from here to here and click OK the same thing select this one up to surface and validate now you can select all of these features I think from here to here and linear pattern select this one and we have to add six times I click OK and don't forget to validate or save your file now let's add um, some some fillet here start from here put here 30 no select only these edges the same thing here click OK the same thing here uh, 
If you want, you can uh, try Fed Expert. But me, I want to do it like that. Simple method. Without any wasting of time. Now we can use Fillet Expert with 5mm here. And we can select this one. And select, mm, select this. And you can use this one like your reference. Add these. That's the last one. Okay, and validate. Mm. Now I want to add uh, the oil, um, the position of the oil, the location, not the position, the location of the oil pump. Okay, I want to put it here, but let's leave that uh, to the next tutorial and uh, if you like it you can like or if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in comment and uh, see you next tutorial thank you for watching